We're here at Seco Secondary in Deep Cove to have a community dialogue on parking and access. As everyone knows, parking in Deep Cove is a big issue come the summer months. It's a very popular place. So we've convened members from across the community to come and have a deliberative dialogue about what some of the solutions might be. I'm a business owner. I have a store uh, on the Gallant Avenue in the trading area of Deep Cove. I'm a resident on Panorama Drive. I'm a resident of the Indian Arm on the District of North Vanside. I've been a resident of Deep Cove for 47 years. We're multiple users uh, here in the Cove, not only as residents, but as recreational users. We've got nearly 100 people in the room today. They all have solutions and ideas, and this is a great way to bring everyone together to discuss it. There was definitely different viewpoints that came out because of the stakeholders. I thought it was really useful. Lots of different stakeholder groups were here, lots of different opinions. We certainly didn't find common ground on everything. There were some things we did agree on, like, you know, parking's an issue, pay, there is, you know, pay parking as a solution. Everybody got to talk about and discuss the possible solutions to the serious problem. I think we saw beyond just the parking issue to bigger issues like sustainability, what we want our community to remain and, and what we would like it to become. Using the deliberative dialogue approach is a really great way to reach community agreement on a thorny issue or a complex issue. And as we all know, parking in Deep Cove has lots of variables. We're talking about using the school district and some of the fields as parking, especially in the summertime when the uh, parking uh, becomes a bit of an issue. We would also like to see a smartphone application developed for the area so that people arriving to the cove can look prior to their arrival. Uh, we would want private shuttles, uh, which could be funded by pay parking. We would like to see a one-way road loop, as well as support for HOV, car sharing programs, and e-biking. And then last year we had uh, pay parking in the uh, parking lots, uh, you know, pay parking. <laughs> And on a personal note, if you don't like those ideas, I've got the floating barge option. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We've pulled all these people together in the room, they're talking to each other, and they're coming to agreement within the community about what the solutions are. That way we can take it to council knowing with some confidence that the community will agree to the solutions that we end up doing.